This is the APT News Network, bringing you the research, interviews. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the APT News Network. I'm here with John Fredericks. How are you? I'm great. Good. Uh, graduate of uh, the spring class of 2016. Yes. Um, so I'm just going to talk to you a little bit about, you know, your whole experience with sure. personal training because you have a very interesting uh, <laughs> pathway and I think people will be really excited to hear about it. Okay, cool. So the first question is when and how did you get interested in fitness? Well, um, I have, had already been working as a personal trainer. I graduated from Swedish okay. in 2006. Okay. And from there, I actually started working at a gym as a personal, as a massage therapist. Okay. And that's how I got interested in fitness. Okay, so you actually did the whole massage program. Yes, I did. And then you made a transition. Right, exactly. Okay, what was it about it that made you so interested in getting into fitness? Well, um, I had my own um, health issues, and I was actually looking for ways to improve my own health. Okay. And through working with the trainers at the gym that I was at, with Equinox, okay. um, I actually started getting friendly with the trainers there, and we actually started talking about fitness, and it kind of encouraged me to add this on to what I was doing, because I noticed how it was helping the trainers I was working with. Awesome. So it just worked together. Yes. Okay. Um, so what made you consider actually just doing this as a career? Well, actually, when I first started, that wasn't the initial intention. Right. The initial intention was really to get information that I had been looking for and I didn't feel I was getting full, complete information. There's okay. a lot of stuff on the internet. And me being extreme, I said, well, let me go back to school. I thought it was an opportunity also to, you know, to learn something more. But then once I got in the program, I said, wow, this is really working together with, with what I want to do. And I found a new interest and I found okay. a new way of expressing myself. Awesome. A nice <laughs> evolution. Yes. Okay, exactly. that's great. Um, so before you were doing that, you were a dancer. Yes. What kind of dancing did you do? Oh, gosh. I started out as a, as a young kid doing ballet. and went to ballet school when I was a little kid. Um, and then once I got into my preteens, my teens, preteens, my mom couldn't afford dance school anymore. Okay. So I became a street dancer. Okay. And I was doing that for a while. And then in high school, I joined the program. This is back in 1987. We won't, we won't put that on camera. <laughs> that's okay. You can put that in there. <laughs> He's like, mark it. <laughs> that's okay. You can put that in there. Okay. Um, no, but I was in a program with BMCC, and that's when Alvin Ellie was still alive at the time okay and we had a high school program where they where we learned revelations we had to audition the different high schools mm -hmm. and we learned revelations and we wow. actually performed it for him and that's where that started for me okay um and it took me into i started doing like little shows and performing here and there and then all right so you turned into this person that does it all now <laughs> yeah. so how do you integrate or connect training um what you learned in school with your dancing well, right now, um, I'm not performing okay. at this point. I'm not performing right now. I take classes here and there. I'm not performing. But I definitely use a lot of movement okay. in my training. Um, right now, I'm working with DVRT, Dy Dynamic Variable Resistance, or um, also known as the Ultimate Sandbag. Okay. Um, I'm also working on that, and there's a lot of movement involved in that. So. Having the dance background definitely helps with a lot of the movement mm -hmm. um, work that I do okay. with my clients. Awesome, awesome. So how did you hear about Swedish Institute? Well, I was friendly with two alum. Okay. I graduated from this program when I was in the massage uh, program. And actually, the year that I was in the massage program, the personal pr training program had just started. Okay. And it was before it became the big program it is now. Mm -hmm. And at that time, I, it was a lot of work. So I just said, let me just focus on this One at a time. Deal. So actually, when I was looking for a personal training program, I remembered that program. When I came back and looked at the school, I saw how much it had grown mm -hmm. and become a big program on its own. So I decided to just come on back. All right. All right. You've been in the Swedish family longer than me. Yes. Okay. I can't <laughs> say that for a lot of our graduates, but that's awesome. Okay, so tell us about your current work situation. Well, right now I'm here at Brooklyn Athletic Club. I'm doing small group training. I'm doing group classes. Okay. I also have individual um, sessions as well. Okay. Um, I am also do massages as well for I see my that. clients as well here um, too. So I kind of try to marry the two together as far as um, 
like when I see like movement issues mm -hmm. or anything with my client, I can actually, you know, give more self care tips, and I also that's awesome. can also work with them as a massage therapist on a separate level. Okay, yeah. that's yeah. great. <laughs> so you integrated just about everything. Yeah, we're working. Yes, that's awesome. That's <laughs> I'm still awesome. trying to work it out, make it you know, make it something a little bit more concrete, a little bit more systemized. I think you got a good batch of lemonade right now, though. <laughs> Definitely, because you're you. putting it all together. Um, so how prepared or competitive did you feel when you finished school, when you started your career? Honestly, absolutely prepared. After the, um, after the massage program mm -hmm. and after the personal training program, I actually felt very prepared okay. um, coming in. Um, of course, taking the exams, of course, there was anxiety, but once right. I passed the exam on the first try, Okay. once I passed the exam um, and I came out into and I started talking to other trainers, some had been out here a little longer than me or a mm -hmm. lot longer than me, I, I realized I had, I had enough information to like really engage and interact and learn more stuff from where I was at from the other trainers I've met but okay um, I didn't feel like I was under um, what's the word like I had a, like less knowledge right you know, I felt like I was on par okay with, you know with everyone and in some cases knew a little bit more okay John so as a graduate of the massage program yes. you went into personal training um, obviously at the same institution tell me a little bit about the difference in the program um, how prepared you were coming from massage well, coming from the massage program, I can say the only thing I was really ready for was the anatomy. Okay. Um, as far as the muscles and where they were, the attachments, that part of it I had. But working with a body laying on a table and working with a moving body is totally two different animals. Right. So even though I had the knowledge of the muscles, mm -hmm. um, there were other aspects of movement and energy systems and so on that I did not know. Okay. I had to learn. But it was just an enhancement. But the beautiful thing about it is that once you learn how to work with the body at rest and work with the body moving, there's certain things that begin to connect. There's okay. certain things in my training that I'm able to connect with maybe certain dysfunctions that I learned in massage. Okay, so would you say that the program curriculum complements each other? Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. Just understanding that when you go in, going into the training program or vice versa, it's a different approach to the body, but it definitely works well together with massage okay. and training definitely works well together. That's great. That's great. All right, so my final question is, what is your mission? My mission is to help people dig deep and take their fitness goals and try to apply them to other areas in their life. Wow. Um, and try to use their fitness as a, as a form of motivation mm -hmm. to help people with other aspects of their life if they're dealing with maybe health issues or anything else because if it takes a lot of dedication mm -hmm. and a lot of um, focus to really get in the fitness mm -hmm. and it takes a lot to change your body and if you could take that and put it in, and apply it to other aspects of your life I think that would be a great thing and sometimes I bring that up with my clients you know once you get in, you know, in, in the conversation yeah. and we get a good rapport then we begin to um, talk about those things I let them open up to me and then sometimes we, we discuss those things and see how we can um, help them like really take whatever they're learning in the gym mm -hmm. and the issues they're having with learning it and actually saying, well, maybe I could apply this to something at work. Maybe I could okay. apply this to something at home. Maybe I could apply this to something in a relationship. Who knows? Awesome. It's worked for me. Well, I really <laughs> think it's great that you kind of sort of streamline um, your life to come to this ultimate place of just really helping people with all aspects. Yeah, that's, that's, that, that's the goal, really just to inspire people. to do. It's more than just having an aesthetic I'm mm -hmm. saying um, I th I'm the, my focus isn't so much aesthetics as right. it is more like the, the process okay. of learning patience and resting and these types of things that are also involved with fitness. Okay. And, you know, maybe, you know, you can help people in other ways that way. Well, that's awesome. Keep doing what you're doing. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you so much. All right, guys. Well, <laughs> there you have it. Um, another one of our graduates out here killing it in the game. This is Teresa and Jonathan out here at Brooklyn Athletic Club. We're here at the APT News Network. <laughs> <laughs>
This is the APT News Network, bringing you the research, interviews, business, biomechanics, events, and physical culture for a sound mind and a sound body.